Police in Britain say they're investigating an incident involving a drone and a passenger plane. This after a pilot reported that he believed a drone struck his jet before he landed safely at London's Heathrow Airport on Sunday. There don't appear to be any serious consequences, but the incident has prompted the British Airlines Pilot Association to call for more education for drone users and for stronger enforcement of rules to keep aircraft safe. Well, for a pilot's perspective on this, we're joined by Marc-Antoine Plourde in Montreal, a veteran commercial uh, pilot. And Marc-Antoine, uh, you've flown all around the world. To what extent these days are you concerned about drones? Well, I'm concerned to the extent that we hear more and more about them. I'm concerned about the fact that the technology is exploding and, and more and more people are purchasing them, although regulations are in place both in Canada, the United States, and, and around, around the world. It's, it's another story when you try to implement those regulations. And from an aviation standpoint, what is the risk here? Well, the risk uh, is if you have these drones that are can vary in size, so the bigger uh, the drone, the more risk for damage to the airplane. And the biggest risk is for these drones to be ingested by our engines, and that can do severe damage all the way to having an engine completely shut down. Now, the airplanes uh, that have two engines are are made to fly with only one, but we certainly don't want to test that uh, uh, th that possibility, and um, we want to keep these these uh, drones well away from all airports. Now, there's other risks uh, that we can look at: is is the drone hitting some components of the airplanes, uh, the the control services? Uh, but once again, uh, the biggest threat is for them to enter the engines. And although drones may be something relatively new and the risk, uh, we still don't know how, how great that risk is, the, the scenario is an old one and as old as aviation itself, and that would be with bird strikes. Absolutely. So we've been dealing with birds for a very long time and uh, there are scientists that uh, uh, see where they migrate to and where they stay, and then there's countermeasures as well uh, to uh, minimize the risk of, of uh, these birds getting closer to the airports with, without total success, of course. But there are more, uh, I guess, known entities than having someone with ill intent or simply uh, with ignorance uh, operating these drones uh, next to an airport. And as we saw in London, uh, colliding them with airplanes. And so let's put ill intent aside because that's always a hard one to deal with. But for those who are watching who maybe fall into the other category, you know, they're operating drones. The last thing they want to do is affect a, a, a jet. As, a ca as someone who flies uh, jetliners, what, uh, what message do you have for those drone operators? Well, it's, you know, Transport Canada has uh, a, a, on their website uh, pages and pages and documents with regards to operating drones in the first place. They, there's even a beautiful flow chart with regards to either it's uh, for personal uh, use or for professional use uh, and at what weight. And then if it's above, for example, on the personal use side, above 35 kilograms, it has to have a, a special flight operation certificate. Uh, you know, with, it's a 125-page document. So we need to uh, we need to educate ourselves. If we if I'm a drone operator, I need to educate myself. It's my responsibility. There are consequences to those uh, that break those rules and get caught. Uh, stiff penalties and including imprisonment, believe it or not. And so they need to educate themselves. And if they're near an airport, they need to know exactly how, how far, or how close they are to the airport. And, and again, all these regulations that deal with the operation of a drone in, in an airport environment so that they still stay well clear of an airplane. Just, just if you're operating a drone, just think of having someone you care about. Uh, in an airplane that's coming into land. And you certainly don't want the pilots to have to deal with an emergency uh, that, that was caused up, uh, get, you know, with your drone. As we always get when we contact you, that, uh, that's good advice. Uh, Marc-Antoine Plourde, thank you very much. Always a pleasure, Ian.